Okay guys, so today I've got uh, another light bar to show you. Um, this is uh, from Oxbeam. And this is their new uh, C3 series. And a little closer look, you can tell or see the reason why they're calling it a C3. There's actually three rows of LEDs. Um, usually light bars have two rows of LED, sometimes a single row. Um, also has this area on the side that's just totally clear with a whole bunch of LEDs in there. Uh, this is a 42 inch light bar. It's a 42 inch, it's a straight light bar. Uh, it's going to be going on the 2500HD here. But I uh, wanted to give you a look at it here. Uh, this does mount traditionally uh, from the side. Uh, they send uh, they send the mounting brackets and these what I thought was pretty neat is you can flip flop these around so you see I have the mounts towards the inside you can turn this around and have the mount go uh, to the outside depending on you know the, the width of your hole or whatever you have if you're putting it in a tight spot and you only have so much room sometimes you got to have the mount on the inside so it's kind of neat that they give you the option um, to be able to do that. There's knurls. You see these knurls here. There's knurls on both sides. And what that does is it locks it. There's knurls on this and there's knurls on the light. And it kind of, when you tighten them up, they lock together so they don't move. And there's knurls on both sides of the mounts. So. That's, that's nice to see that they're thinking uh, about, about giving people different options. That's always good to see. But it's, uh, I mean, it's a standard light bar. It's got the fins in the back. You got the vent here. That I think most ox beams uh, light bars have to vent out uh, any kind of moisture that does get in the uh, light bar, which is nice. Um, I guess we'll turn this on. This is supposed to be uh, a lot brighter than a standard uh, two row light bar. So I'm going to hook it up to the battery here and we'll see what she looks like okay so that's what she looks like here I'm not really looking directly at it because that is super bright but we'll see here Okay guys, so you can see super bright light bar. I'll have all the specs for this light as well as uh, a link to where you can uh, pick one of these up from Oxbeam in the description. And uh, we're going to get this thing mounted. Okay guys, so you're probably wondering where in the heck am I going to mount a 42 inch light bar on the 2500. Well, it's not going above the windshield. I'm going to mount it on the back rack. That's my plan here. And uh, you can see I've already removed that uh, amber strobe I had in the center there. So we got room to install this uh, 42 inch C3 series light bar. 
Um, I've already actually made some brackets for this thing. So I'm going to show you what I've got. Okay guys, so to mount this, I'm going to use uh, these brackets that they send with it. Um, like I said, these can be inverted uh, which, which, either which way. I've got them on the inside because that's going to actually lift the light up a little higher. And uh, I made these uh, brackets here. They're a little bit of a triangle. Just took two pieces of steel and made myself a little wedge. And the reason I need that wedge is because uh, it's going to be mounted on here and you can see that's angled. So I need the wedge there to actually give me a flat mounting surface on this uh, back rack. So I'm going to get it up here, we'll start installing it, and uh, I'll show you how it's going to work. So there's a light mounted on the light bar, guys. It's got uh, the bolts. Right here you can see the triangle pieces I made. Also uh, use the gasket they set with the light here. But then I made another gasket here out of uh, old inner tube, old inner tubing. So I mean the bolt goes down through into this uh, light box there. Both sides here worked out pretty good, I think. So we'll get down. We'll see what it looks like uh, down there. Okay guys, so we got a rear view here. Probably not the most flattering view. Um, I would have liked to have mounted it lower. The thing is, you gotta get the light over the roof. So I, you know, that's about as low as I can go and get it to uh, push light over the roof. I'll show you that here. So there you can see it now. I mean I can see it, uh, you know you can see it from here so it should, should shine, should shine over the, the, the roof there, just over the roof. And it's not like I'm looking for light. Uh, right in front of the truck anyway. I've got this light bar here plus I got the LED headlights uh, I don't really need light right in front of the truck. So it's kind of a long-distance light there Kind of interested to see how it does myself Where it shines how it shines um, I guess the uh, the wiring of it is next and I've got I've got a harness that came with the light and what I'm gonna have to do is I may have to I may have to modify my harness that I go that goes in there because I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with this back rack guys. If I'm leaving the strobes, um, if I'm taking out the, the backup lights or what else I'm doing here. Um, I also plan on adding more lights to this this back rack here, so uh, might need a wiring overhaul. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'll get it wired up. I'll show you what I do. Okay, guys. So I've been wiring away here, trying to get this light hooked up. And what I've done here, if I can show you here. I run my wire to this this deal here. Um, this is actually where the guy run the wire for the uh, for the other light, and I'm using it for this light. And I just I run it here for now. I'm not sure exactly where it's going, but I just un 
unscrewed the bolt, slid it on there. So that's where I get my positive and it comes out through here. And then negative, same place right here, negative went to this bolt. And uh, we'll see how that works out. I may, I may change this up. Uh, I got the relay right here. Um, I've seen some really nice like relay banks that some people have uh, wired up. And you know, I'd like to eventually get something like that to you know, make a real nice clean setup. But I really need to wait till I get all my lights in here probably before I figure something like that out. But because I, like I said, I plan on adding quite a few more lights to this thing. So then I run all my wires in the, well, I run my wires in the cab for the switch through that grommet there. And then I run the wires for the going to the back rack down in the fender there. And they come out, it comes out somewhere around there inside this inner fender well. And then I run it along, there's a main wiring harness that goes along there. And then I went um, across there. And then I went through this uh, drain hole. But like I said, I've got quite a bit more wiring that I need to do. So eventually I'll have to drill a hole here. And I just got it. It's just taped on there guys. I got a really nice weather pack connector. But I need to really dismantle that and make myself some new connectors because uh, the light's gonna or the back rack's gonna change quite a bit here. But I've got it wired up in there. I've got this light bar hooked up anyway. Okay guys, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the switch before we go we go into the interior. Um, most of these uh, lights come with a switch like this. And uh, they got a little plug in here, and you've got three wires. Uh, the three wires here, the black is ground, the blue is the, the power going to the light. It's actually uh, activating the relay to send power to the light. And then this white is um, constant power. So, um, I've got a different switch here that I want to run. Uh, you can get these online, they're all over the place, Amazon, eBay. And what, I've got jumper wires here, probably going to confuse a lot of people. But uh, basically, if you just have the three wires, if you just have the blue, the white, the black, then the black wire goes... The black wire goes here. I know I got it jumped, and I'll explain that in a second here. Your, your cut white wire will go right here in the middle, the only middle prong. That's your constant power. And then your blue power, which is actually sending power to the relay to send power to the light to turn the light on, would go here. Okay, so you can see I've got jumpers on here. Um, what that's going to do is when you turn the switch on, all the lights are going to turn on. The LED light bar is going to turn on or light up, and this light bar up here is going to light up. Okay, if you don't jump the wires, if you just hook them up, if you just hook up a, the black, white, and blue, like I showed you on the back, the only thing that's going to come on is when you flip this up, this little light bar is going to come on. The, the LED light bar will not come on. Just this top light will come on. So I did the jumper deal um, as shown here. You, if you copy that, when you turn the switch on, the whole switch will light up. Okay guys, so what I want to eventually do is this terminal right here uh, should be connected to like a switched power source like when you turn your key on or when you turn your lights on uh, you get power to this terminal right here and what that's going to do is that's going to light up the this bottom part when you have the truck on or the lights on 
and then when you turn it on, everything light, everything will be lit up. Now the reason you would do that is you're usually using these lights at night, and if they're all black before you turn them on, it's really hard to see them and it's hard to find them. So that's really what you're supposed to do. That's how they're supposed to be wired up. Okay guys, so I run my wires. I showed you where I run them through that grommet. And the grommet is kind of up in the dash there. I ain't even going to be able to show you. But it's up there quite a ways. And I've run my wires across the like heating vent there. And all the way over to uh, this right here. And right now I'm just going to lay my switch uh, right here. And this is the plug-in for the for the switch here. And I'm just going to lay my switch right here for now. And I think I've got an idea for uh, a switch bank here. But uh, I ain't got it right now. So I'm just going to put it there and uh, I'm going to button this truck all up and we're going to see how the light looks on the truck and we're going to see how it shines with it up on the roof. Check that out guys, holy crap. I mean that, that's bright. I mean I got, I've got the uh, one of Oxbeam's X series 42 inch and th this looks quite a bit brighter than that. I mean that, this is bright. I mean, you can see it. That is lighting up this whole this whole parking lot here, and you can see what's coming out of the sky, guys. Yeah, we're getting some snow. Turn on the uh, 23 inch. That doesn't hardly do anything compared to the that 42 incher. But that's going to do it for me guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video here. And I will see you in the next one.